hello my dear children so today also we are going to continue our chapter number 5 that is multiples and factors as you know we are solving now exercise question from 5.4 and till question number 1 we have done and today we are going to solve from the question number 2 onwards but we have learned the how to find the ACF by factorization method so before starting the question number two we have to know how to find the ACF by prime factorization method all right so let's see so that two ACF by prime factorization method so in this method we proceed as follows there are some steps okay so step one what we have to do find all the prime factors of the given numbers that means we have to find all the prime factors of the numbers then secondly the step two we have to find their common prime factors all right and step three the product of the all the common prime factors is the lcf of the given number that means what we have to do we have to find the product of the all common num prime factors all right so this is clear to you now the steps what we have to do but we will follow these steps in the numbers so if we will discuss some other taking some examples then the concept will be clear so let's see i have taken one examples the given number suppose 8 and 10 okay so 8 how we can define by division method before prime factorization method we should know the division method that one we have discussed in our earlier class all right so that division method we what we have to do we start the dividing the given numbers by smallest prime number and continue the division by prime numbers till we reach one so and in that way we can find or we can get the prime factors so at first we will do the division method we will follow then we will find out the SF. okay so i have arranged here is the number eight and s we have to see or we have to look the number is divisible by the smallest prime factor uh, prime number two so it's going to four to eight so it will be four here and then you can see the quotient we have to write here you can i have shown here the division so two four to eight so that means this quotient we have to write here as i think you know it also we have discussed so now two to the four that's why two div four divided by two it will get two only then two one to two all right so same way you can see here ten how we can do it ten the two five ja ten so it will be if you divide ten by two we will get here five then five divided by five one okay so how we can write by what we have got here by prime factorization by prime factorization what we have got for by prime factorization we have here eight is means coming to two how many times is coming to three and ten means how we can write two into five so a sep or a sep will be what a sep will be the common factor so we have to list two and rest is not coming so only two one two is mean so the sep will be two but if you see one more example you can see here that's why we have not as 2 is the only so we single only we have to no need to find out the product okay same way 8 we can do with this way and 20 how we can do here that 2 10 to 20 again 2 5 to 10 so 5 well, if you divide by 5 then you will get here 1 so that means what we can write here 8 means 2 into 2 into the so maximum number of trees in this and then 20 means we can write 2 into 2 into 5 and you can check whether your that work is correct or not like this way that 2 into 2 4 and 4 into 5 20 so that means we are getting again 20 so it's correct okay so now we how we will check that common fact so you can see here 2 and which is coming now more 1 2 so rest two these two also not but one more two is required here but it's not that so it will not come in the place this is also five also will not be come so what we have to do is set means product 
product of their common factor product of their common factors so of their means 8 and 20 so common factors means what it will be here product 2 into so once from this two one single two will come and from this two one single two will come so two into two four and this is the SCF all right same way we'll do the exercise question so the question number two from the exercise 5.4 is the find the SCF of each of the flying group numbers by prime factorization so prime factorization just we have discussed now so I have taken here the question number B 32 and 40 so what are the numbers 32 and 40 so let us find the prime factors of 32 and 40 how we can find it 32 means at first we will see here like this I have done over here you can look students so same way we have followed so that prime factors of 32 means all you have to multiply so 2 into 2 into 2 then 5 2 is coming okay now prime factors of 40 you can see here 2 20 to 40 then 2 10 to 20 again if will 10 divided by 2 what we will get here 5 so quotient we have to write it and 5 divided by 5 we will get here 1 okay so now this is the, the prime factors of that number so product of prime factors of the 32 and 40 what will come here you can look here so now we'll see the common prime factors so 2 and 2 these two are coming from 1 2 will come and from these two 1 2 will come from these 2 and 2 1 2 will come so there are 3 2 we have to multiply so 2 into 2 4 4 2 is 8 so a shape will be 8 and rest the these are not common so it will not come in the product of the factors okay so question number d i have taken there the 84 and 105 so solution what do you know at first we will find out the prime factorization so 84 divided by 2 is 42 and 42 divided by 2 21 and 21 divided by if we'll start s is in one play digit is one so it will not go with two we have to see whether it's going dividing by three or not so it's three by if you divide by three it will be seven so seven one to seven so it's coming we have got this result two into two in three then seven now 105 you will see there as the unit digit is five so as if you see the test of divisible rule by two as the prime least prime number is two we have to start or we have to look from the two but it's not going as the unit digit is not two either zero or four eight six so it's five so five so it we have to look now this by three it's going or not you can see here five five plus zero plus one so it's coming six so you can see the sum of the digit is coming six that is if you check the test of divisibility by three it's going okay so now we can start the division by three so 3 if we divide so 105 divided by 3 we have got here 35 okay so now the last digit is 5 so it's go completely going divided by 5 so 5 7 to 35 or 7 if we divided by 7 you will have got here 1 fine now prime fact by prime factorization we have so 84 means we can write like this and 105 means we can multiply this all but the ACF of 84 and 105 what will be product of common prime factors of 84 and 105 so common prime factor you can look 2 is here in 84 but it is not in there the 105 so only which is coming here 3 so 3 is in both the numbers so 3 will come here all right now next it is if you look the 7 is in 84 also and 105 also so which the 7 also be common prime factors fine so if you multiply 3 7 just 21 that means the required SCF will be 21 I hope this is clear to you now students so one more I have taken here the F number 605 and 935 so if you start the solution 605 that you can check as it is not the last or unit this is not 2 or 0 so we can not divide it by 2 so next prime number since which is coming 3 so if it's divisible by 3 or not how we can check it by adding the sum of the digits so 6 plus 5 it's 11 and 11 plus 0 11 so 11 is not divisible by not divisible by 3 it's not divisible by 3 so we have to look now next which prime number is coming 
five we have to look one by one so five so five it will go with five as the last digit is five so now we start the division so five if we divide 605 by 5 we have got 10605 so if we divide 5 1 ja 5 now 6 minus 5 but 1 0 so 5 2 ja 10 and more 1 5 is there so 1 5 so this is this quotient we have to write here so 121 fine children now 121 means you can you know it already that 11 11 ja 121 Fine. So, 11 divided by 11, we have got here 1. Same way, if we we'll divide 935 by 5, we have got here 187. And 187 means 11 by 11, 17. Ja. So, 17, 1 if it means, if we we'll divide by, we have got here 1. So, all fine. Now, friend, you can write like this 5 into 11 into 17. And 935 means we can write 5 into 11 into 17 okay now acf will be what product of all common factors of 605 and 935 and you can look here the common factors means 5 is there also and so it will be common and among these two so among these two numbers that will come here 5 and next is that 11 and 11 so it will come 1 more 11 so 5 11 it's 55 Fine children, now hence the SCF of 605 and 935 will be 55. Okay, so I have taken one more that G number we have done here 480, 540, and 600. So we will start the division now. For if you look here, 480 divided by 2 as 0, last digit is 0, so we can start the division process by 2. So 2. 240 and 240 divided by 2 we have got 120 again 120 divided by 2 we have got here 60 60 divided by 2 30 and 30 divided by 2 we have got here 15 so 15 means we can write 3 5 ja 15 so you can write here 5 1 ja 5 also now same way 540 what we do so 2 if we we'll divide it by 2 we have got here 270 then it's dividing we have got here 135 and 135 we will divide by 3 45 so 45 3 15 ja 45 so again 15 divided by 3 we have got here 5 so 5 5 divided by 1 fine now 600 divided by 2 if we do here 300 and 300 divided by 2 150 150 divided by 2 75 75 means if you divide it by 3 as it will not go with 2 so 3 25 ja 75 and 25 means we can write directly that 5 5 ja 25 and 5 1 ja 5 so you can easily do it okay St students now by prime factorization we have this all as we have to multiply all the this all we have to see now we have to look which are the common numbers so 2 is all the numbers is having 2 so this one will come 1 2 and this also second two also all the heavy three numbers are more so two is one single two will come then then you can look here this two here is a two but it is not there is no two is there so only we cannot write here it should be in both the all the three numbers among all the but if it is given on it's the factor of two numbers but the third number is not there so we cannot write this a common factor okay so we cannot write one more two so next we have to look three so three is having in 480 540 also and 600 so one three will come here and see here no other three is there so now which one will come the, if you look the common five all the numbers having five ones one five and s here it's not five no five is there so only one five will come so two into two then three into five so two into two means four four into three is coming 12 and 12 into 5 it will be 60 so that's why ACR will be 60 now it's done so I hope this is clear to you the concept of prime factorization how to do so the rest of the sums can be solved by yourself thank you